Tell a story about you. Oh, okay. Uh, this is Kim Myung Won, nine don professional from Korea. Uh, promoted by the KBA. In what year did you get nine don? Was it 2011? Uh, yeah, yeah, something like that. Something about that. I need to look that up. I was purely guessing. Okay. Okay. 2010. 2010. Uh, Three-time U.S. Open winner. Uh, 2008, 2009, 2010, I believe. Yes. Yes. Uh, and part of your mission, I believe, was actually come to the U.S. and promote Go. Right. And so we have, you know, a Korean nine don professional player here today, uh, we're, which we're most grateful for. Uh, you're, not, you're living in California these days, or? Oh no, 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 I moved back to Korea. Oh, you moved back to Korea. Yeah. You're not even here from like California. Your mission is complete. Oh yeah. <laughs> no, not complete, but finished, kind of. <laughs> Very good. Uh, I think I first met you in 2009. And I don't think you remember this at all. Mm, probably not. No, 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 I don't think so. Uh, but here was a situation where I first met Kim Myung Won. I'm going to my very first U.S. Go Congress in Washington, D.C. And uh, there's a, a Perigo tournament that I don't think you played in. No. no. But Lee Hajin did. And Lee Hajin's partner, Wang Jong Kim, was friends with me. And he said, oh, come on, we need to practice our Perigo. I'll get you another pro, and you'll play me and the other pro. And I went, okay. And so the pro that, they, that Wang, Wang Zhang and Li Hajin paired me up with, I believe was you. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> and so we did a practice Perigo game where it was me and you versus Wang Zhang Kim and Li Hajin. And uh, we, didn't, we didn't do so well, but that was my fault. <laughs> but you did something really interesting in that game that, I, that, I, that I, I don't quite remember all the shapes, of course, but you kept adding stones to a dead group in the middle of the board and I didn't understand it at the time. And it was just to get more liberties. It was just, it was just to get more. It was a technique to get more liberties for a cap, for a potential capturing race. I thought it was so cool at the time. And so from that point on, you know, Kim Young Won has been on my, like, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> so anything else I missed on your introduction? Uh, actually, I have something. Remember about you? Oh, oh yeah. dear. You you know you you taught my niece. Yes. Right? Yes, I did. So yeah, my brother was living in Seattle. Yeah, he was working in consulate, said a consulate in Korean consulate. And so when um, my niece was born, then I went to teach her. Then I was looking for the best teacher in center, and there was Nick. <laughs> so I offered him to give a lesson, you know, over the internet, and he can teach my niece. So, but it didn't go very well because, oh, not because of Nick, you know, because my niece didn't really like. So now she's uh, she's grown up. I think she's like a 13 years old right now. And then she confessed to me that you know, when every time she came to Seattle Go Center, she tried to hide in the bathroom and then didn't come out. For she was Cindy. so scared of me. Uh, she was really scared of me. Oh, well, why is that? I I'm scary. <laughs> why? Like, I'm scary. Yeah. Okay. But it yeah. seems like she didn't like. Uh, uh, learning goal. Okay. She, she didn't. Mm, okay. But I tried. But I did appreciate the lessons. So we did a little lesson exchange. So uh, that was fun. All right. So anyway, you want to tell us about the Samsung Cup final game? Oh, uh, yes. All right. OK, so I know that this is really interesting topic to you. I did this one before. And then many people found it uh, very interesting. So I want to do it again. So this game is, uh, this is for game analysis. The Samsung Cup final, uh, the, uh, the first game of the best of three. And then the players were Tang Weixing, Naidan, and Yang Dingxing, Naidan. Both of them are Chinese and are uh, one of the top professionals. And they, didn't, they played uh, September 9th, so it's not a long time ago. The, the reason I picked this game was because they played very similar to AI. So they have uh, this uh, AI program is provided by China uh, TUN, and then they have access to it, which, which is equivalent to AlphaGo. I think this one should be stronger than the AlphaGo you know, first version. Wow. So 
you know, they play like AI, and, and then at time, you know, this, this is how I uh, do a uh, pro game analysis. So after I review this game by myself, I run AI. You know, it's not that strong. I mean, my, because of my computer, but you know, I, I have some ideas, and then I learned a lot, and then I, I kind of can compare, you know, the, my perspective and AI's perspective. And also, I can check um, you know, how, how well they played. There are some interesting moves too, because you know, they studied AI. So let me, into, uh, uh, let me uh, give some the analysis, and then you can find some interesting moves too. And also, I'd like to show you the, the differences of AI and human, you know, how they see the game, like so those uh, perspectives and some other differences, then you, you may find it very interesting. Uh, Black is Yang Ding Xin, he's only 21 years old and he became a pro before 10 years old. So I think he can still get the record in China. And Tang Wei Sheng is only 26. Are you sure the colors are right? Because I think on the board it's colors. Colors? Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry, yeah. Black is Tang Wei and white is Yang Ding Sheng. And black won this game. And black actually won this title too. So, did you have chance to look at any pro games recently? So yeah, this one is very kind of common, two space jump. And this 3-3 three, three was gone for, for a long time, but it just came up. Yeah, because you know what is the most popular response to this one? It's not approaching here or here. What is it? Three, three, three. Yeah, three, three. Yeah, of course, they don't like this three, three. So we just play three, three. Yeah, and I think this one is better than this, but you know, it's some some players uh, like three, three. This one was not popular, you know, before AI. They want pins up, and they try to attack and then extend, uh, extend the potential in the right side. But right now, you know, they want like confirmed territory, like AI, com AI likes the confirmed territory here. So after this, so you can see black gets like 13 confirmed territory. White territory though, is not confirmed. Right? It may, maybe have some potential to be like a 10 points, but we can invade something like this, and then probably erase all the all white territory here. So yeah, this, this Doseki is very popular. And if you extend here, how do you extend? Right. Two spaces. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> so before, or oh, how did you know that? Because I've, I've studied AI. Oh, you do? <laughs> oh, okay. Right. So before, this one is, was more popular. This one looks like a too you know, squeezed, right? Too narrow, but they want very solid move. Even if you play this one, well, this one is, well, we don't play this one right now because you can just attach to the outside and then it's, it's fightable. And I put this on it. You know, they can cut this one too. It's, it's very bad agile. But, you know, we don't want to leave any weakness. So, just want to be very <clears throat> solid. Okay. And then this is a very good move. Very big. Yeah, that makes sense. And you can, can you see it's, it's the upper side is bigger than the lower side. The right? lower side is too flat, has limited potential. So, okay, yeah, right here. 
Okay, so next move, no, they wouldn't even think about the next move as an option before AI. Okay? So nobody will play this move, nobody will think of the next move. And then the next move is one of the uh, best moves that AI showed. No, it's not the best move, but maybe like a top five. So what do you think? What kind of move would be like that? But before AI, never existed. But after AI, they played. You got a shoulder hit or an attachment. Oh, oh yeah. I was gonna say. So yeah, I, I wrote the topic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the AI thought like this. So if it's shoulder hit, let's say the, if it's the first one, the shoulder hit, what kind of shoulder hit would be like that? D8? D8? Oh, this one? Oh, D9, right? D9. Okay. That? Yeah, that can... It's, it's, yeah, you can think of this one, yeah. right? Even before AI. <laughs> yeah. So it's not, not this one. This is something that sounds like... E13. <laughs> uh, that would be so weird. <laughs> yeah, right. This would be weird. But yeah, something like this. I mean, so because if you play here, it's kind of normal shoulder hit. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, fourth line, right? Yeah. But it's not this shoulder hit. Mm. Q13. Q. Lower right. Lower right. It's a shoulder hit. Q13. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's. Very normal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's very normal. Even before AI, you saw this move like many, many times. <laughs> right? What about like N6? N6? Yeah, I don't know. N5, you mean, yeah, right? Or N, yeah, 5. Yeah, this one, that's right. Okay. You got it. I was kind of just reaching for moves that I didn't So, I yeah, when you, when you thought about this one, you thought, oh, there might be the one, right? It's kind of weird. Yeah. Why do you think this is weird? It's because it's, it looks it's like it's high. It, yeah, it yeah. looks really high, and it looks like that stone has a lot of space to go. The black stone, I know. So yeah. So what's the coordinate of this one? It's n five, right? Yeah. We don't make a shoulder here in the fifth line. We didn't, mm -hmm. right? It's in the fourth line, either this one or this one. I mean, even though. You didn't know it was like a fourth line or fifth line. You didn't see the coordinate when you play, but you are so accustomed to see uh, the shoulder here in the fourth line, right? Or it can be a little bit lower. It may, maybe like a third line some, in some circumstance. But if it's fifth line, it's too high. Like you said, you know, black can if black push this one, <laughs> it's, uh, he's making territory in the fourth line, right? Mm -hmm. So you don't even think about this one as a shoulder hit, as an as a option. But uh, AlphaGo played this shoulder hit at fifth line in game two, I, I think, you know, against Izedo. Mm -hmm. And then nobody thought about that move. And then he spent a long time to, to find uh, the right in this part. And it was, uh, it was actually a good move. So we kind of opened our eyes. But after this shoulder hit, I mean, I didn't think about this one, but the, the variation that AI showed is something that I can see, I can read after this move. So if you turn it here, then I can make another shoulder hit here. So this one, like this much, is what I saw as a variation. And I can see after that, what's going to happen after this. And it makes a lot of sense. So if black play this, this part, then it's not let up, right? Mm. And also, because it's very urgent, it's difficult to make some like a letter breaker. If black play here, Okay, what do you think? Who's winning this cross cut? You can see why made this double honey. 
So the cross cut happened here. Right? This is the first cross cut, the kind of first bite. So who's winning this cross cut? Mm, yeah, black. Right. Yeah, because this one is not dead up, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, it's not dead up. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's not black. Yeah, it's, it's not dead up. But you can make leather helper. You can make the leather helper. Do you know how to see the ladder and uh, where you can you can uh, make a ladder helper or break breaker? Mm -hmm. So you can do the line. Yeah. I'm not going to draw the line. <laughs> so that's a bit of curry. So draw the line in your in your in your head. So this one. So, so this one here. So that's just the letter breaker. Yeah. But if anything in this line would be what? A letter helper. So which one you can give the damage the most to the corner? If black if uh, black doesn't respond. I mean to black. I mean anything in this line. Which one? Damage to the corner? Most? Yeah. C14? Yeah, that's right. C14, yeah. Yeah, this yeah. one. Right? So, if I respond something like this, because it's already waiting, mm -hmm. so you can see make Atari and then go like this, and then make Atari, and then it's already here. Mm -hmm. So you can just take this one. Mm -hmm. do, do you see that? Mm -hmm. If black plays something like this, then what can do this cross cut? And then you, you can see it's very difficult to not have any damage from this cross cut. And then I can play one more time, right? So, yeah, because of this variation, yeah, because basically uh, the, it has to need it up to this, this area. But it's pretty complicated. How strong are you? Oh. I mean, is there any down level player? Okay. Like How about uh, one single digit Q? Oh, okay. And then double digit, the rest of it will be a double digit Q. But uh, do, you, do you see yeah, this variation, this ladder? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, no, my point is that you know, what I like to tell you, Maybe up to up, up, your, up like this area, or maybe even after this one, I can, I can read like, this much variation. You know, I, I know the intention of this one, and I can go deeper, and then I can read you know, uh, this letter, letter breaker, letter helper, right? But how come I couldn't think of this one in the first place? Even though I can see what's going to happen, and then I know this this might be a good, good move. Because of because this is a fifth line, okay. because I, I kind of uh, set limit by myself, so I couldn't just come up with the first move. Yeah, that's the difference. Yeah, I couldn't even start. But yeah, that's what we learned from like AlphaGo or like generally AI. You know, but it's easier for computer to know that <laughs> to know that. That's the variation practice. Oh yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then the next move also was not something that we could easily think. So where is it? So normally, you know, in this game, this one is not that bad, not that good because of this double panel, mm -hmm. right? And then the five was not that good. Then you probably can play just like this one. Right? And then that's okay. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I, don't, I don't know if this is really a uh, good move. I mean, but they can, they can play something like this. And it's a, it's a little bit flat. No, flat is flat. 
So, I, I don't think why we will play this song right now, but I can play something else. But this, this can be a good exchange. I, mean, I don't know. But uh, probably. So, if this one doesn't work, I will respond to this one, right? Mm -hmm. But he didn't play this one here. So what is difficult, what is difficulty in this area is that we learned, I mean, you know, when I was young, you know, at the ghost school, so you should respond to attachment or shoulder hit, right? Yeah, because either this attachment, this is attachment, you know this is attachment, right? It's one on one fighting situation. And this one, not very difficult. Not very different. So if you play one move, it's one to two. You have two, uh, your opponent has one turn. So you should be in good position. But if you don't play this turn, what we play here? And it's uh, the other way. So this move is isolated, and then you know, you're not in a good position to fight. Right? So you should respond. Okay. Either the course or just respond like this. But, uh, yeah, what do you think? How, how did he play here? Yeah, he played M4, you know, for white. Oh, in black? Yeah, for black. Also M4. Okay, yeah, somewhere here, like this one, maybe somewhere this one. Uh, yeah, maybe this one, this one, this one. What do you think? You can guess. <laughs> what's, what's your name? Alex. Alex, yeah. What is your guess? Yeah. Uh, I would just play M4 probably, but I think, yeah, I don't know. Okay, what, what are the options? M4 or Q5. Q5? Okay, Q5. Yeah, somewhere here, right? Somewhere mm -hmm. here. Like this one, this one. It feels Q6. Q6? <laughs> Q6, okay. Uh, what else? Down one. Yes. Oh, this yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. That, that seems to be good. Yeah. yeah, that seems to be okay. That seems to be good. I have some eye. Yeah, you're going to give up one of the songs. Okay. <laughs> what, what else? So, when I say Alex's eyes, you are looking at here, right? Mm -hmm. But the answer is not here. He's mm -hmm. Tanukit. He, tell, he, he played completely different. Okay. He was Six actually an attachment. Oh. So, I mean, after you saw this one, yeah, probably, yeah, there might be a good move. That makes sense. But it was very difficult to think of this idea, to come up with this idea. Actually, it's difficult to see the other area of the board to begin with. Right? So, yeah, that kind of game, is uh, it became way more popular these days because they, they, they can look at the other area of the board where right? you don't really have to respond, even though uh, a move like this, which is uh, pretty obvious that you have to respond. Is this a good move? It, it is. So I remember this one was uh, still, I think this one was actually better than this one. Yeah, it has like a higher winning probability. So it may not be the best move, but it's um, one of the top uh, moves. Oh, by the way, uh, the program I used was uh, Lila or but you know, it shows the winning percentage on every move. So I can see you know, which one is better than the other one. Right? Otherwise, there's no way that I can tell you that this one is better than this. Right? So, yeah, the, the reason, and yeah, this one is somewhat difficult to, but um, if you don't play the sun, it is somewhat weakness to black. And if you play here, then I can uh, attach. Well, attachment is very common. And then this first cut, let's play, let's play this. Oh. No, no, black play the sound, that's the one playing here. 
and then you know, this cost cut, it is still fightable, but if they cannot kill you know, one of these two groups, then Black Panther has been all destroyed. And then uh, the black group in the corner is not alive. This might be bloating. So this is not a very good fight for black. But black play like this exchange, let's say I'm playing here. And then the play is up. So this is kind of a one, two, three move exchange. It's longer than normal. But you can say this one's exchange. You know, black play uh, this one anyway. But right now, it is difficult to cut the fight like this. Like this one. <clears throat> because of those exchanges, those exchanges really help. Let's say we play exactly the same. I mean, this is not letter, but you can play here, and then you can cut. So Alex, Alex, you know how to kill this one. Right? <laughs> fourteen. Yeah, right. Yeah, that's a net because you made this exchange already. So that has to the corner. <laughs> so so white and then yeah, and then cut and then end it. So this cost cut. Uh, who's winning this cost cut? What do you think? Black, black or white? Mm. White. White? White? Sure. Yeah, white is actually a better position because if you see this one only, so white has one, two, three stones, mm -hmm. black has two. Uh, right? Uh. Yeah, white has this one too. I mean, black has here, but you know, locally, uh, white is very strong. Yeah. So white has a uh, one, two liberties. Yeah. But this one is only alive. But black black should deal with these two stones. Uh, both of them have only two liberties. So when you have this cost card, you can count uh, the number of stones first, and then you can also count number of liberties too. So black is what is better. But you know, you don't have to win this one, you just actually want to sacrifice this one stone, this attachment. You can just make Atari and then put it down. So black can get like much bigger territory here. Mm -hmm. And then just you know monkey jump here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and then also yeah, there are some odds there. you can you can move this one later, right? Actually white didn't you know, play this stuff. So yeah, that's a very common mistake uh, that uh, you guys can make. So uh, after the cross card, don't don't try to win like, always because you can make this kind of you know, sacrifice strategy. Okay, so here. Yeah, that one is also uh, very big. And okay. So question A or B. Which one do you have to choose between these two? A or B? B. B? Who wants to play B? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Three, okay, four. <laughs> how, about, uh, how about this one? Who wants to play A? Oh, A is more. Oh, Nick, Nick, why do you want to play this one over here? Because you have no base, man. It's virgin. Oh, yeah. 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 Right. Here. It's like your shame is not bad after the C6 stones. So. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah, this is very awesome. You want to have base. Like, like this. Or, actually, this is what we suggested. It's a little bit difficult variation. So, yeah, you want to have base. 
part, I have to white paint this one. And then after black here, white paint. Even white didn't have base, white has actually no difficulties to escape to the outside. And then so after play after playing this one, black can uh, white can kind of develop like a very big territory mm. here. But there was a big mistake. Why should they play this one? Yeah, Nick was right. <laughs> okay. And then the reason was because, uh, yeah, let me ask this way. So how much would you count this area as white, white, white territory? Are you feeling optimistic? Yeah, OK. Yes. 45. 45? Uh, Alex, what do you think? How much would you count? I think there might still be things black can do in there to reduce it. I uh, thought? So? 28? Uh, okay. Yeah. That's, that's more reasonable, I think. Okay. 28. So who think, who, who do you think is like a 15? Tell me like 15. No. I'm sorry. 15? Times two. I did seven times two, and then I said twenty-eight. Uh, I, I don't know. I was just counting. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's much more than that, then, mm -hmm. right? It's like a twice. Okay. So yeah, that's that's definitely more than fifteen. Who thinks it's like a twenty or less? Okay, that's too small, too, right? Maybe like a thirty at least, right? Mm -hmm. Thirty is reasonable. Yeah, thirty is reasonable. Okay. <laughs> So I think that probably was close to what White thought when he played this one, because this is very big. It's a really big one, right? And you can make tape to it too. But if you count this one as 30, that's actually, oh, White is winning. It's just, that's a lot. Yeah. You know, White Black territory is not uh, that much. Shh. Oh, before, before this move, White made uh, this exchange. Yeah. Well, after, after this one, this, this might be center for the text. You mean, you mean the point is not the key for this point right now? Uh, no, I mean... I mean, because uh, this move is, the B move is making more category, right? But uh, you So, mm. it is hard to kind of count or evaluate mm. the territory, mm. you know, from potential territory, potential oh, yeah. area. So, but A, I thought, mm -hmm. it's going to be only 15. Why? Up to 20. Why? Okay. So, yeah, this is uh, what AI was um, kind of changed our attitude mm -hmm. and it changed the, you know, the perspective of the game. So, AI is really, really good at saving a group or invading. Right? So, oh. you can see what happened here. Yeah, it, this is what happened. Let's play this one. Let's play here. Yeah. So still, it looks very dangerous, right? Mm -hmm. It seems like a black should just go out like this. And then even I play here, that's uh, 28 points, something like that. Mm -hmm. But black didn't go out. So push down. Uh, it's still not blocked. Ah, okay. Let's play this one Let's play this one fast. Yeah, yeah, in fact, if black play here, yeah, then what can we just block? In this one, you can just see what I have. So, this is very, uh, dangerous. So, black can bring this exchange. If I take this one, mm -hmm. black will connect. And then black can turn it. Before, before this exchange, they cannot play the planet because I can cut here and this area is like super strong, right? Mm -hmm. But they can still live because of this weakness. Can you see it now? There are two cutting points, mm -hmm. here and here. Mm -hmm. And then why cannot protect both cutting points? So black probably will get this much territory in the corner uh, to leave. 
So, like, why is play here? Then, clicking it uh, very easily on going outside to make some, you know, uh, tiger smart shape. So, in the real game, why connect it? And then now, black in the play here, yeah, because of this card. Uh, black needed this move, you know, to make this attachment. So black can black, black jump out. Still looks difficult. I mean, it's being attacked a lot, right? But in fact, it is alive mm -hmm. by itself. Making all these exchanges, these are all simple. It's alive. Even with this one. So this is one eye. Mm -hmm. So if I play here, yeah. then how can you leave? How can you make an, uh, another eye? You just point P four. P four. No, that doesn't work. Oh, I yeah, that's um, fake eye. So at least it's a cold eye. <laughs> yeah. No, you can leave. Yeah. Maybe Alex. So the hmm. No. The outside is super strong. Yeah, you can not use P five. Yeah, P five. P five. This one. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's right. So A or B, me mm -hmm. I, right? So in this very small area, it looks like, I mean, before he pushes this one, it looks like you cannot make two eyes. But somehow, he found uh, some space to make separate two eyes, right? So, yeah, you can do this one, look at this. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and it's like 15 points, minus two points. So that's 15 points. I only made 15 points in that area. Before, it was almost like a nonsense if I said it's 15 points, right? Or right now, right now, it is actually even worse because black uh, didn't play like this and then black go out. So after black made some weakness, then black can leave you know, whenever he wants. So that was not that big, and that's the reason why why I was behind in the beginning. And then that one was a big mistake. So yeah, it's it's difficult. I mean, before it happens, you know, it's it's difficult to see that uh, black will leave inside. And then before you see all the variation, then you overestimate the potential. But AI is so good. AI knows you know, how to how to destroy this area, so it didn't give much territory. It didn't give much like uh, potential here. Everyone is like a Chochi Kun right now. So you know what he's famous for? He's like a very severe uh, intruder, invader, right? So he didn't reduce. He always invaded. You know, he just make territory of his his first then invade his opponent's potential. Let him make uh, as big uh, potential as he wants, then invade it. That's how he, he win. And then he still has like a, this kind of game style. Pirates <laughs> there. But everyone's like that right now. Because, and then he, they are confident uh, because of AI. Somewhat, uh, you know, AI somewhat changed you know, the, game, the game style. You know, on, on professional. Okay, so, yeah, that's even cutting point here too, so I right, play it here. But uh, this one's a mistake. Yeah, this, this one's a mistake. Actually, why was not that much behind? I mean, this one dropped winning percentage by uh, five points, five percent. So I think why it was 
losing uh, why is uh, losing by 40 I mean why, why is winning percentage is like uh, 45 percent so there's not much difference but after this one if black play correctly it drops even further maybe 30 something points so the, the best next move was also very difficult to find that's the third kind of difference or what we learned from AI so uh, did I write down there? Okay. The influential move. The one space jump. If it's one space jump, we would, we would like to play. Okay, I'll give you a hint. The next, the best move is one space jump for white. P11. Which one? P11. P11. Or 10, P10, sorry. This one? Mm -hmm. oh, this is not, because this one's already alive. So we want to build up influence. Influence. Hmm. What is influence? Influence is invisible, right? We don't really get like, a clear value from the, uh, from the influence but it can add up uh, the value of points later, like gradually, right? As the move goes on. Uh, so, yeah, that's difficult to see at first, you know, especially if, uh, before the move was played. So AI is very, um, I mean, it's very balanced. I said it likes the confirmed territory in the beginning, but it also, knows very well, understood very well about the influence. Mm. There are not many one space jump, yeah. Mm. One space jump uh, in the center, like fifth line or above? Uh, F13. Hmm? Oh, this, this one, yeah. actually, actually this one is very good too, yeah. Okay. This is a very good, but there's a better one. What about H5? Just to run that out there. Well, how small are you? What? I like AQ. Oh, really? I, I kind of love it. So you got, yeah. Not anymore, Kyle. Right. Promote. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah. I can promote you to uh, that level. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be great. Okay, so this one, compare, okay? Compare this one. So now you can see. No, that's actually this one. So, I mean, well, we probably to look at this one, this RJ. So, let's play it out. Then, we can go out. Lock. And then cut. Mm. So, that's why this one helps. So, if you play, let's play. Yeah, you can make this exchange. You can make this tip. You can work now. So, it's pretty much black, right? And how much can you get uh, from here, like this influence or this wall? I mean, you can really confirm it right now. You can really say it. But you can see some potential here, right? And then that potential can be used to probably uh, invade in this area very directly, right? Maybe you can play uh, somewhere here to get some extra points. And it might be centered because it's written a uh, black light. And then it can even uh, have to make territory in this area. And then if you, if you play here, I mean, you can attack a uh, whole black group using the influence you have here, right? You can use it a lot of ways, you know, many variety uh, of ways. Whereas if you play this one and black play this, Okay, just, just, just make a very simple move here. And then to go, to go out. Yeah. Look at this. Can you, can you see the difference? Mm -hmm. Now, this white group is actually separated. Mm. It can be attacked. So I cannot even think about invading this area. Why does it want to make you know, uh, another weak group, right? So it's more likely that this one is going to be black territory. And this one also is not completely alive, you know, especially if you say something like this. So black can probably leave by center. After this one, this push is also very painful too. So 
Of course, why can I expect anything in the, in the center? So this move for this one face jump is very valuable. You can see the failure, but only after you see this move, right? Only after I showed what could have happened, you know, if black play this one. Before, it's very difficult to see. Not only you, I mean, the top professionals also had difficulties uh, looking at this move. I actually didn't uh, come up with this move too, when I reviewed this game. Nine, nine, nine done? Yeah. <laughs> nine done. <laughs> You're right. Oh, you like nine done? <laughs> 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 so not uh, again. Not only the territory, the AI opened our eyes uh, to see, uh, to look at the influence. No. So yeah, that's that is actually the biggest mistake, uh, and least one of the biggest mistake, and uh, it drops the winning percentage by almost like ten, 10 percent. But very next move was also the one of the biggest mistakes from black. So, yeah, the right move was this one. And then if you think about, think about this, this one's also kind of difficult because it looks so slow, right? So you may want to play a little bit uh, more aggressive move like this, like attachment, and then you buy harder, then you can probably uh, no, come back, and then you can play like this harder too, which is more painful. So, yeah, he played this move, but that was a very big mistake. Because, why can it? And this one, uh, it is very difficult to see all the variation. I mean, it's beyond your level. I mean, I, I'm not just underestimating, but you know, if, you, if you want to see uh, this fight, then you have to be able to read the life and death in this area. So it's, they're all related. So how can you, I mean, if you see only this fight, who's better position? Come on. Um, it's on the serial code, it's black. Yeah, black. right. Yeah. yeah. So you, you learn from here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So one, two, three, mm -hmm. black, and yes. mm -hmm. one, two. Mm -hmm. So number of liberties total is one, two, three, four, mm -hmm. and black has one, two, three, four, five, six, mm -hmm. whereas uh, these two stones are already alive, right? Mm -hmm. So you can see locally, uh, it's good for black. And also because of this one too. So for example, if black, if I play here, Uh, and because of this hands up influence, I can I can grab. Actually, I can kill these four stones. Mm -hmm. But that's the worst variation that I can think of. Why is that? How come? Why kill this uh, cutting stone? Why one? Right? The D five group will come under attack now. Yes, right. So, you can really think locally and locally only. Because even if you win this first cut, <laughs> if you lose the game, no, what's the point? Right? So you got how much? Like uh, 10, 14, like 15 points. Or how much is this? Square shape, mm -hmm. right? That's like at least thirty points. I think it's more than thirty points. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you lost more, much way more than you gained uh, mm -hmm. from this cost cut. If you if you if you lose this cost cut intentionally, then that's how you can win this game. So the variation. It just happened that, you know, uh, from this one and this one, uh, whoever losing the cross card would win the game, right? Uh, it is actually very, very common. 
So, why actually play this one? And Black didn't see this move. Black so this much, yeah. Of course. And then Black won. Do you do you see that? No, I have only two two uh, two liberties. Mm -hmm. And then what can white gain? Look at this. Atari. I mean I can uh, connect the same to this Atari. Mm -hmm. Just give up everything. Oh, what is difficult is that right now, if you play the song, you don't really gain anything. Mm -hmm. You cannot kill this song. Yeah. You have to make it even bigger. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, using more. yeah, using more. Mm -hmm. And then, not only this song, even this Atari is center. Oh, you didn't lose much actually. So, you don't mind. You just take the whole this group. Mm -hmm. I told you this one is alive locally, right? I mean, it is outside the source town. Uh, Black and I escaped to the outside. So, what was the variation? It was something like playing here and, and this one, right? Right now, it doesn't work because of this one, this move. After white play here, this is, this is not an eye, it's a half an eye, right? Mm -hmm. So, black and then leave. To black play something else, I mean, like this one, it's still the same, this part is the same. I mean, this one, yeah, still the same, yeah, because of this, because this one is there. It's not an eye by center. So, yeah, that's quite long variation. But idea is uh, sacrifice. You lose the cross cut intentionally. So after this one, uh, black is in trouble. Right? Black cannot just give up like this. I mean, it's, it's blocked, completely blocked, even without playing it, right? So it's, it must be a very big difference. He lost almost one uh, one move, yeah. So Black came up with this idea. Like this. You want to go outside. Oh, this one works. But yeah, that was center to kill to kill these two stones. And the black had to uh, leave inside. So once uh, this one looks pretty good too. I mean punoki, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, punoki. But is it really useful punoki? Not really. Why is that? Being blocked with your fronts. Being blocked? Blocked with uh, your fronts. You know, not easy to use it in the disposition. Okay, so, I mean, if you're Punoki, and yeah, Punoki is 30 points, right? Mm -hmm. It's like a diamond Punoki. There's a turtle's back Punoki too. There are two kinds. This diamond and turtle's back. And this one is like a 30 points. And Tartar's bag is this one. Mm -hmm. This one. Mm -hmm. right? It's a Tartar's bag. Mm -hmm. That one is 50 points. This one is 30. But this one might be 30 in very, very early in the beginning. Right? When there's not many moves, like 20 moves, or less than 20 moves. But the, this one is move 70, 71. So the more moves, the more turns, that you have on the board, the less valuable uh, punoki is. Right? Also, this one doesn't have base. And if, if it has a base, that's way stronger. It doesn't have base, but that means this one can be even attack. So that's not 30 points, okay? that's only two points, this one. Now, I mean, it might be more than two points, but it's way less than uh, the punoki that might be uh, in the beginning. Right? 
So, yeah, so he, he just lost these two stones, you know, which is even, even bigger than this one. He just wanted to actually erase the potential. So now he, you can see he lost a lot, you know, comparing that he just played this like a very plain move, right? That plain move, I didn't write down this one, but if I look at the AS projection, I see so like very plain, uh, very kind of naive move, but these are the best moves. In a situation that when you are winning, when it, it was winning, right? So when it was losing, I can see so much like aggressive move, so many attachment and cross cut, but when it's winning, then I can see this kind of Osumi, like one space jump. I mean, sometimes not even one space jump. You don't really see two space jump when you're winning. So that's what you have to do. I mean, it's kind of understandable. But AI is, I think, generally better than human because, because of what? So you are being very defensive and very safe, right? When you're winning, when you're losing, you are very aggressive. This is this kind of general lesson. You know, I I, I, I tell my students like, almost every day, every lesson. But AI is, is extremely, uh, you know, especially better at that perspective. Why is that? Yeah, it feels nothing. <laughs> Human is not as good as AI, right? Yeah. So you can see. So, oh, this is kind of, it's not for me. I'm a, I'm a top player. I cannot really make this kind of very slow and safe move, right? I just want to make it uh, somewhat fancier <coughs> and stronger move. I'm good at fight, right? It's very difficult to come, uh, overcome the kind of tendency, right? The kind of feeling. That is one reason why it doesn't have a feeling, right? <laughs> The other one is the evaluation. It is very objective and the evaluation is super good. I mean, I cannot really say this one is better, right? Do you remember? Mm -hmm. No, if it doesn't show me the winning percentage. So it knows the winning percentage from every group. So that's what uh, we cannot catch up. And the reading is also excellent. So, I mean, it's all related. So because of reading, and then you can evaluate this one might be only 15 points. So you can avoid this mistake, right? You don't really get as it looked after re you're reading all of it, all of this variation. So it can be easily destroyed. It might be only 15 points. So. That was a mistake, right? So now you can see all these three like strengths uh, from AI. So do you see that? You know why humans uh, have so much difficult times uh, of beating AI? And right now it's impossible. So I mean, I'm I'm not uh, I didn't believe that um, until very recently. Actually. Uh, I did, I remember, after that AlphaGos game, so it was 2000, I think 15, was it 15? Yeah. After that, yeah, I, was, I, I had a chance to uh, give them lecture, and then someone asked me, you know, how uh, difference it can, uh, it can be, it can broaden, and I said, uh, it, can be, it can be very close to two stones, but never, it's more than two stones, it'll never happen. To, to, to handicap is impossible. But right now, really, it's like more than two handicaps, we, we believe. It's very, oh, very close to two handicap. So, you know, Isador was, uh, Isador retired. And then he's, he's playing uh, AI from Korea, the strongest AI from Korea. And then the, it's not even game, of course. It's just two handicap game. But Isador gives seven and a half for me because of the, the setting. And then he said, oh, I, cannot, I don't think I can win the first game. Two handicap. So maybe I have a chance at three handicaps. So it's, it's that much difference, really. 
maybe not for handicap. I, I, I still like to believe that it's not going to be for handicap. But yeah, it's, there was the old, I don't know if it's a saying or proverb or something, but it but it said uh, it, this is this is old, right? That uh, the best players take three stones from God. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, right, yeah. But this that's not no safe statement anymore. So uh, actually, could somebody yeah, take a picture of me uh, from the uh, from the back? I'm not sure. But I like to give you weakness of AI. So you saw all the strength. So it's very frustrating, right? You cannot, you will never win AI ever, right? But actually, I give you secret. I show you the secret. No, I, I can tell you how you can win AI. I mean, you guys can win AI, really. Okay. So, let me show you the secret. <laughs> Isn't it interesting? I mean, you can win AI. So let me just uh, give a uh, board. I found it excellently. I use AI. Uh, I, I sometimes uh, I play with AI, and I found it by myself. And while I'm actually uh, doing uh, this demonstration, someone was playing a game online, and then he did it too. So it's proven. <laughs> so normally you just play like this, or like, uh, you know, four, four, uh, three, four, or even sometimes three, three, right? Mm -hmm. Or you can play like this. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is the key. So let's say let's play, play somewhere here. And then you can play this one. Not here, but here. Okay? Yeah. I mean it doesn't really matter, but you should play diagonally. Okay. The next move doesn't really matter. Okay, let's play uh, just whatever you want to play. <laughs> okay. Can you pass? Hmm? Can you pass? I think you, you can even pass, right? <laughs> okay. He's going to play here, and they think you are dumb. I mean, this is like this is not good. You should protect the corner. Right now, it looks like a white is getting the corner. Mm -hmm. Then you can play this one. So he think, oh, it's too far. I can uh, attach and then cut. You can on it. And extend and hit block. And then this one, this cut is a little bit all play. That's what he thinks. And he thinks. And they say, oh, I can make this cross cut. And uh, you, are, you are doomed. <laughs> but what's going to happen next? Ladder. This is ladder, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why you have to make it diagonally because if it's like this, mm -hmm. that doesn't work. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's a nice real yeah. yeah. And then the winning or uh, winning percentage shows that you are you are losing up until you probably play mm -hmm. like this much, maybe some are here, and then your winning percentage will throw up dramatically, mm -hmm. <laughs> like ten percent every move, right? So, is it interesting? I mean, I heard it, but okay. But this this depends on the version of the AI you're using. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I think so. So, yeah, so which 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 AI? Uh, the Lila, but it's um yeah it, it's probably it's because of my um my uh, my computer. I have two computer. Yeah. So to be honest, my uh my computer at work doesn't work. Oh. Yeah, it runs much faster. It's gaming computer, gaming laptop. Mm -hmm. It's much higher graphic card, so it, it runs very fast. But if you take a lower one, then you, uh, yeah, it, did, it doesn't show. You didn't see this. So yeah, that's. Yeah, I think yeah, it's going to be solved. Uh, and I, I know that in early AI developments for all these, when they're when they're getting enough weights to be really good, mm, but right. not 
Not super, even... super good. Yeah, right. Uh, they all suck at ladders. <laughs> like they yeah. all, they all just can't compute ladders. Yeah, right. And so, yeah. if you're running the, yeah. the higher end, yeah. yeah. refined, you know, massive weights AI okay. plus with a super hand card, it doesn't, it doesn't do this. Probably they, they fixed it, you know, whoever it was the developer. Well, but, but it's a problem if they, that the humans did not want to fix. Like this, in AI development, this is a this is a thing where the humans don't want to fix it. They want the AI to learn it, right? The whole yeah. point of AI is to like, learn how to get out of this. Yeah. At least for things like deep learning. Yeah, yes. and the theory, I, what I've heard from like, uh, like passed down from like the ELF team, um, the, the, the guys who are on they said it, it, it like didn't get ladders forever. And I don't remember how many like million or billion or trillion quadrillion, whatever, how many other th things it had to go through before one day it just kind of, it just figured it out. Mm -hmm. But that, that, that's kind of rumored and, mm -hmm. you know, it, it was it was way far down the process before it figured that out. Like it was the last major strategy thing. Mm -hmm. Instead, maybe tied it, I know with the, uh, with the alpha go article in Nature, we're talking, I think you mentioned that, but would that maybe be something to do with the limit of the search ahead they were doing? Mm -hmm. It might have uh, something to do with that. Partial, partially, yeah, it's because it is just a, you know, a long reading sequence, right? Yeah, so search, maybe if they had a 60 step ahead, search ahead. I mean, the problem with going 60 steps ahead is you have to know which 60 steps you want to take. Yeah. So, so there, there still might be ladder exploits, um, but they're, they're, I, I believe as far as the simple ladder situations, like this, they're no longer a problem for the top top AIs on, on fast machines. Yeah. I measure for like so, Yeah, from this one, what I'd like to talk, talk about was actually uh, this, winning percentage. It was like a magic, yeah. right? When I used the AI, because it shows the answer by the winning percentage. But this one is actually the error, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> because it calculates only by percentage of the uh, outcome. So why is that? I mean, this is why he didn't read. Because there's a chance that you don't make the right move, right? You probably have like a stroke while, while you're yeah. playing a game or something. So if you make a mistake, then you just lose the game, mm -hmm. right? And then you have to play it so many moves correctly. Just one mistake <coughs> will just ruin the game. But we don't think or regard that as a risk mm. or any like a probability, right? Uh, it's zero. Yeah. I mean, the percentage that you can make the right uh, letter is 100%, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's, that's the weakness. And it's not only this one. In fact, all the, the winning percentage here that I showed you, so it's not really match, you know, to your own winning percentage. The other, the, um, the other weakness, uh, this is a well-known weakness, and the other one, uh, many people doesn't know very well. I think it's not uh, well fixed right now, or maybe they, they cannot really, you know, fix, or even even uh, very kind of very expensive in computer, like a very super like a CPU power. Mm -hmm. The other weakness is that it is not good at giving handicap game. So yeah. you know what happened in the four handicaps? What do you think? It would start on crazy moves. Wants to resign. Yeah. yeah. Either one. Right. Either it can make a crazy move or resign mm -hmm. because it's less than one percent. Yeah. So in handicap game, I mean, it's the winning person. I mean, it doesn't really think the human's perspective it's at all. Right? It thinks, uh, what if uh, the two, two AIs, uh, black and white, and then that doesn't really make sense, but not yet, right? <laughs> so four handicap may be six, let's say six. Yeah. So. I don't even know how you go about tr like training an AI to do that, because usually you have it hit against itself, and it would have to learn how to right. play people. <laughs> right. So a lot of you would have difficulties of winning with uh, five or six handicaps against me, right? Mm -hmm. But you know, all of you can win against uh, this very strong, you know, stronger than professional AI. If it's six and yeah, or you know what happens in the in the uh, in that game? So let's say it's four handicap. It just play like a two three, mm -hmm. and then after this, 
kept this, it just uh, crawl the second line up to the end. <laughs> so, and then he does do, uh, the same thing on the other side, yeah. right? Because it doesn't really make any difference. But I can give you, I mean, probably I can give uh, more handicap than other professionals because I played a lot of handicap games, yeah. right? When I was teaching in the US. So I know what you're thinking. Yeah. Okay. The probability of making mistake, you know, what, what you're afraid of, something like that. I can read your mind. <laughs> so yeah, that's a big difference. So yeah, this is, this is very powerful. But that's also the weakest point of AI. And then, um, and yeah, I'm, I'm not an expert, so I don't want to go much deeper than uh, like what happens in Go. But yeah, if some, and then if this is not the uh, same as what we are thinking or we are calculating, then there's, there might be some you know, mismatch or, or an error, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah, if I teach uh, my student, I don't recommend my student to use AI. I mean, I look at it and, and I analyze. Because after this one, look at this one. This, for example, like this one was a mistake, right? Uh, he should have played here. But is it really a mi mistake? Actually, I don't know. If you play these games, what's the probability of your opponents uh, being very good at reading and very good saving group so that he can make uh, 15 points in this area, right? So it's so slim. So for you, uh, most of the guys, uh, uh, even professional, um, yeah, this may not be a mistake. Depends on how, what's the gap between you and your opponents, how, how deep the gap is. Yeah, and then, yeah, I mean, that's, you're not AI, so you cannot yeah. really think uh, based <laughs> on your opponent is AI or you are AI, right? So I think you know, they can still they can get help, right, mm -hmm. for using AI. But a lot a lot of times um, it may give them a completely different method or different approach. So normally I say if it's no uh, more than if it's not if you are not more than four or five done. Um, using AI doesn't seem to be a very good idea for me. It, these winning percentages uh, don't mean much to you, you know, because you don't really know all the variation behind it and everything. Right? So, for example, like this one, the shoulder hit too. After this shoulder hit, and probably this one, I can see what's happening. But you know to know that, you should know what. What did I, what did I show you? The other shoulder hit. No, no, not the, not oh. the other shoulder head. Oh, this oh, one, yeah. this move, okay. right? So you should be able to move this one. Then this shoulder head probably was a good move. So you don't have a, you don't have this link, right? So yeah, that's, I mean, the so AI is designed and developed to be the best professional. It was not designed to help you to learn. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that that was the difference. Um, I mean, I didn't go much deeper for this game. So let me let me actually stop here. So if, if I go much deeper than that, then it's very high level than player. Uh, so I just want to represent um, the AI's weaknesses and uh, some limitation and comparing it uh, to human player. So we can see, uh, I hope you could see somewhat clearly. So and then this, all of this, uh, like this kind of five line, uh, fifth line shoulder hit, and Tenukin, and then also some, some other stuff like influence that human got affected by AI. So we have actually developed. So our, our top professionals, I believe, is almost like a one handicap stronger. Uh, then before AI uh, came up. So they, they got, they, they always use AI to learn and they're much stronger. So, okay, so a any question about uh, today's topic? Thank you. Is it clear? Thank okay, thank you.